All right, what's up, y'all? Ah, uh, you can't. Ah, there you go. Oh my God, my room is dirty. All right, but yeah, I'm just doing a reading. This is for the collective. All right, shoot. <laughs> collective's a little tough. <laughs> All right, but yeah, this is for the collective. So I don't typically do these. Don't even know if I'm gonna post this, but let's see where it goes. Collective, what do we need to hear today? So I'm gonna do three cards, past, present, and future. Um, we're coming out of a Mercury retrograde pretty soon. Venus is going to go into retrograde soon. Um, we have a super full moon coming up in Virgo, just letting y'all know. So yeah, now would be a perfect time to get your rituals ready, get your stones out, bury them in the moonlight, Alright, it was a fly. I should, probably shouldn't have swatted at it. It's probably still alive anyways. But here we go. Here's the reading. So we got... Oh, I'm not going to flip it over here. Alright. Here we go. So we got... These are oracle cards, by the way. So, here's the first one. Dolphin. Playfulness. So, um, I'm looking back into the past... And it seems that we're coming from a place of lightheartedness. Everything is light. Everything is fun, joyful. Nothing is really weighing us down. And things are just going overall good. And I would say, um, I would say if you're on the right side of history, this is true for you. Very true for you. Because I know there is definitely a timeline split going on. So please, in the comments, let me know if this resonates with you. But yeah, so we have playfulness. Take time to play. This is where we're coming from. This is the past. So in the past, things that might have been lighthearted, been fun, a lot of good energy. So let's see how this affects us in the future. All right. Ah, okay. This is the present. Um, the dragonfly, illusion. You know who you really are. So I think maybe in the past, we've been playing around a bit and not taking anything serious, but you know who you are and we're currently maybe playing out an illusion with ourselves not knowing who we truly are and taking some of this playful energy to the future and we're getting caught up in play and thinking play is the real life when we are caught up in some kind of illusion some kind of disillusionment disillusionment something taking out of us out of our usual perspective and our usual mode of thinking hmm. I'm, I'm going to get a deeper reading on this card. All right, illusion, illusion in the present, illusion in the present. And I wanna say, I, I feel like it's us acting out of our nature, I'm not saying play is not our nature, but we took all this time to play and now it's like, um, it's time to grow up, you know? And not even necessarily grow up, like lose your kidness, but it's time to actually get serious and get into the deeper work. All right, let's see what this card is. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Adaptability. All right. So I think this is what connects the two right here. Uh, adapt to the changes that are happening. So I believe we're taking our past, trying to apply it in the present, but that's where the illusion comes in. And you know who you are. You know you're adaptable. You know you're not stagnant. And you know you're receptive to change. So this is what we got right here. Time to adapt to the change and time to make things work out in your favor and no longer get stuck in the past and able to progress out of the past and no longer letting the past taint your present moment, all right? Because a lot of us I know are coming from trauma, uh, childhood trauma, generational trauma, trauma period. So I believe maybe so this trauma, and this, I know I'm saying playfulness, but playfulness could maybe also be childhood and Parts of your childhood that haven't been expressed are coming out and being expressed now, but they're not being expressed in the best way. So maybe now is a good time to transmutate, adapt, and then bring all your gifts to fruition and bring them out in a different modality to be expressed. So now we're going into our future card. Wolf, all right? You are safe and protected at all times. This is the guardian card, all right? So with all this... It's very scary, it's very, very, very scary, all right, to make that change, all right? But 
And I feel like a lot of the times we're caught up in illusions. We're caught up in these misconceptions and perceptions, mainly because we don't want to change and we're comfortable. We liked the way it was. We liked that playfulness, but now is no longer the time to play. Now is the time to get serious. And you may be intimidated by changing, but look at that. You have somebody here willing to protect you and save you at all times. All right. And this may not be somebody as in a physical person. This could be guardians, angels, uh, entities, so on and so forth. This could even be, you know, a close friend or a family member. The universe has an interesting way of making, um, <laughs> of making, I don't even know the word for it, making guardians actual guardians by protecting you whether it be a spirit animal that you look up into or your actual friends or somebody who just came out of the blue to you know talk to you and give you an idea on something a new perspective and maybe this person or whoever it is or whatever it is comes out and shows you a new way of thinking so you're not stuck in this illusion and they can also help you adapt all right and maybe possibly help you get rid of this trauma that's been affecting you in the past and you in the present, all right? So this is the reading for the collective energy for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Uh, let me know if you like this video. This is something different. Um, I don't typically do oracle readings for the camera, but I figured, hey, why not? Seems pretty cool, sounds cool, and I wanted to do it, even though my room was kind of messy and I just showed y'all what everything I have on the floor. But, but yeah, leave a comment, let me know how this resonated with you, and get ready for a transformation. <laughs> All right, peace, love, and light. Take care, namaste.